What is happening guys? Welcome back to Wulong DLC number three. So I have taken a few days off of playing this and just basically experimenting with this boss. I have basically fought in this boss, uh, I'd say 30 to 40 times now already, uh, trying to learn his movesets, getting to the second phase, trying out different builds. Uh, and I have a build now. So our new build is one wood, 62 fire, 30, 20 earth, one metal and 70 water. Uh, the cool thing is I have checked out a bunch of different weapons on this guy. I have tried heavy attacks. I have tried glaives. I have tried every single weapon in the game to basically see what be does the best against this guy. And I basically the best thing I have found is this one martial art called Lamenting Blade or Lamenting Blade. Uh, this this Ash of War, or I guess I should say uh, martial art comes out extremely fast. So this is that martial art. Basically, this fight is about spamming that and then deflecting. That is what this fight all comes down to. So we built this build upon that. So tons of spirit gain, tons of spirit sustainability all on this build. Um, and we're going to see how this works. I tested it today a few times and I got him down to only a quarter of health left. And obviously I didn't want to kill him because I you know, wasn't recording at the time. So I let him kill me, but I feel like we can do this. I also leveled our moral rate all the way up to 25. We are also going to summon in another uh, reinforcement as well to help us. Uh, let's see here. I'm thinking Zhang Leo, I think. I don't know. I haven't really tested Fortune much much of the these brave. guys. I've been just fighting them solo, and I almost killed them solo today. So we should be able to do this with one or two attempts today. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Um, also, we also found out these things, Sacred Lotuses, in the second phase, if you do accidentally miss that critical, uh, pop one of these and it will eliminate all those status effects. Uh, these are pretty rare though, so don't be wasting these. Uh, these are hard to get, so I actually don't know where to find these at. I'm hoping I have plenty of these in my storage <laughs> uh, from playing this game as much as I had. So we'll have to see, uh, but we have Dragon 10's Dragon Skier Powder and 12 flasks. Uh, how we got 12 flasks is we basically have each one of these gives us one more flask. Uh, we got lucky with these Dragon Cure Pop Max Use is plus one and plus one. So that, that's the build. Uh, for our spells, we're not going to use much. Uh, right before critical, we're going to pop Amplify Damage. And then second phase, we're going to use us Alcriti Al 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 Haste. Al Al Haste. Basically just to move faster, because a lot of his attacks can just be dodged by running away in the second phase. Uh, this Lion's Roar is useful to a certain degree. It does boost damage negation, uh, so we might keep that on. And then I always have Frost Lance on, just in case we get him down to just a little bit of health left. We can just pop this off, we don't have to get close to him, and we can finish him off. Just to have that emergency emergency kill situation if we get to that. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's take them out. We're going to be using Yinglong, so hopefully we'll be able to use this and, you know, get the best out of our ability with that. Uh, it'll revive us if we die. Um, also, too, I think Yinglong doesn't... Also, Yinglong have another ability, too. Let's see here. YB summons Yinglong. Uh, battle prep. Set Divine Beast. Isn't there two abilities? Yinglong Resonation. Uh, summons Yinglong to apply stone damage to your weapon and those of your allies. Decreases HP taken and increases spirit gained. Yinglong Resonation. Summon Yinglong. Hmm. Summons Yinglong. When you die, when Yinglong gauge is full, Yinglong will revive you. When you activate Summon Divine Beast, Yinglong will perform a sweeping attack in the area. Attack power increases. Cannot be neutralized by the five phases. Alright. So, let's... Uh, Let's try this. Uh, I also thought about popping the thing too that gets more, that gets our Divine Beast gauge up higher. We might have to spec into more wood if we can't do this, but we should be fine. Let's uh, let's go give this guy some tries. I was so tempted at just finishing today off recording and saying hell with it, but uh, I wanted to get it recorded, so uh, as much as it sucked, I let him kill me. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, first thing we're going to do is pop one of these. I looked up online a few different things here. Five mineral powder, it's pretty cool. Uh, pretty expensive, but it does allow you to use this and then your moral rank does not drop. So our moral rank will stay at 25 if we do die. So we're going to use one of those. Um, and then also we can use some bear gall as well, which will increase the amount of spirit you obtain temporarily after use. 
So we're going to use that as well. All right, here we go. Here goes nothing, guys. Phase down. I'll pop a few things here. Still got our extra life here. I was stunned, man. I oh shit. Oh, we almost had him though. Damn, we almost had him. Yeah. Damn. I shan't let you down. Uh, why did my moral rank drop down to twenty-five? Ah, uh, that sucks, man. Um. Hmm. So those things don't work, I guess. Never mind. Oh, that sucks. Uh, let's try. Try this dude. Ready to go. I don't know why when I was trying to activate my Dragon's Cure Powder, it wasn't working. Like I was stunned out for there for some reason. And that's where we died there, because I was trying to activate that. Hmm. 
wonder why that didn't work. Alright, well, let's, uh, can I pop? Don't I have something called an elixir or something? Increases spirit gain when used, but causes spirit to slowly decrease over time. I don't know if I like that. Uh, 23? Oh, I get it. Spirit decreases over time. No, oh, that's not good. Who would use that? That's not a good one. <laughs> Pretty happy with that first attempt, though. That, that was solid. Wasn't bad. Dude, why can I? I never have trouble with that. doesn't do a lot of damage at least. That's more of just annoyance. This one's easy. Oh shit, no man, what the hell? My deflect button didn't work. I pressed deflect. I can't believe the lightning killed us, damn. Oh shit. Hmm. I shan't let you down. I don't know if this makes a difference with having freaking people help us. I feel like our damage just like doesn't really matter differently. I feel like they're just dying. I hate it when he starts out with that. Damn it. 
That's a bummer. Damn, die already. Damn, dude. What's he doing? Oh, this one. That one's not a fun one. He's really liking lightning tonight. Man, I cannot deflect that tonight. Okay, I gotta say good Lotus. Oh shit, I thought he was gonna do something else. Oh shit, dodge!
Let's go. Let's freaking go. <laughs> Yan Shu did. Let's freaking go. After four days of trials on this damn boss, I freaking beat this thing. Oh, we did it, guys. The hardest boss in the game. Oh my gosh. Freaking A. Yes, let's go. Watch a third phase. <laughs> if it's a third phase, I quit. Is this all the demons die? It's finally end game. that I could use my swords to rid this land of all cruelty. I rushed onto the battlefield, unwilling to listen to my friends cautioning me to be patient. But with each battle, I began to realize that injustice could never truly be eradicated. It was the shining light of benevolence that allowed me to find salvation at long last. While swords can put an end to villainy within our reach, only with dignity can one vanquish the corruption across the land. I will make full use of my abilities to protect the shining light of benevolence until the day the true peace finally comes to this land. Another Pokemon captured. We've been saved <laughs> once again, due to our bonds of companionship. I found Governor Liu in the dungeons. The elixir shall no longer pose a threat to Jing province. Nonetheless, I can already see that we shall be facing an ongoing age of warfare. I simply regret that I lack the strength and wisdom to save everyone. Our forces have great need of a strategist of your talents. I wonder if you would agree to help me. If you are willing to forgive me for concealing my identity and testing your resolve. I now know you are the one I am destined to serve. My name is Shu Shu. From this moment, I shall make full use of my talents under your command. You have found a skilled strategist, my dear. here in Xinye of Jing province that our new journey begins. Let us set out together with a renewed pledge of justice. <laughs> Where am I at? <laughs> I don't get to agree. I don't get to enjoy sake with them. <laughs> Come on. Where am I at? Obtained Cha. Oh gosh, Chang Wan's Jade through swearing an oath.
just want to see if there's any more to t see here. And okay. Um, With your help, we were able to defeat Yuan Shu and save Qing Province. As a token of my gratitude, I shall offer some advice before you set out on your journey. The new feature set Stratagem has been unlocked. Stratagems are items that are endowed with unique abilities. They can be obtained as random drops from enemies on the path of the Rising Dragon and beyond, and up to two can be equipped via set strat Stratagem. Under Battle Preparation in the Battle Flag menu, note, however, that you cannot equip two of the same type of stratagem at the same time. There are two types of stratagem passive, which are automatically activated once equipped, and active, which can be activated with R, B, and over. Later can be... Hmm. Well, it doesn't really matter, because I'm done with this game. I mean, this is the... that was the last, uh... that's the, that's the last of it. Um, but yeah, I do have to tell you guys a story, though, so... You know, my channel, you know, we are big about not giving up on this channel. Uh, and I'm not going to lie, two nights after fighting him, I fought him for hours and hours, and I wasn't making any progress. I wasn't even getting his second half bar, health bar, you know, even to halfway. And I was just just thinking about, you know, capping this, D just, just not putting up this DLC. I was thinking of, like, just scrapping this whole thing, just quitting, deleting the game, and because I've done the whole entire game now. And it feels amazing to... I've done that because this is definitely one of the hardest games I've ever played. Um, Yan Shu, you know, he isn't the hardest boss I've ever versed by far. I've versed some crazy hard bosses. I still say, you know, Ishin Sword Saint, Sekiro, you know, Demon of Hatred. Some of those are the hardest bosses you're ever going to face. But the fact is, Yan Shu has so much bullshit attacks that I was just like, I'm fed up with this. Like, like I said, I spent like three nights, guys, trying to different techniques, trying different weapons, um, salvaging some of my favorite equipment just to be able to level up other things. Like this Premier Virtue, this plus three, how I got that to a plus nine, I had to do, I had to salvage my entire fire set, the fire set that I played the entire Let's Play with to be able to get plus nine. Like I made a sacrifice to be able to beat this dude and I made a bet that I could do it with Lamenting Blade. So it just, it, it's kind of crazy, you know, how I deleted my, fa I had to salvage my favorite set to sacrifice to be able to, you know, be able to uh, level the sword up en enough to be able to beat Yu Yuan Shu. Just kind of, it's kind of poetic when you think about it. You know, I played the entire game as a fire build and then I loved the build so much, but I had to salvage that equipment to be able to level up this j one sword to be able to beat the final boss. Very poetic. Um, but yeah, that's going to be do it for probably the DLC. Oh, we're going to do all the side content too. Let's check out the side content here. Um, let's just see what we got coming on. Uh, who knows? There could be another huge boss in here too. <laughs> this is very possible. Uh, let's see. Rampant name it. So, okay. Loyal Brave Servant. That looks like a level. That looks like just a boss battle. That looks like a level. Boss battle. Uh, boss battle. Boss battle. And boss battle. Damn, there's a lot of boss battles left. Some of these I bet could be crazy hard too. Well. <laughs> the fierce and formidable warrior? Do I even want to know? Oh gosh. Well, we'll worry about that when we get there, right? Um, but yeah, Yuan Shu, done. Let's continue moving on, guys. So. Let's cap this off and continue to finish the DLC. Alright guys, stay tuned, much more coming soon.